second time for an earnings recap. We're looking at big lots. That is symbol big. I always love when the, the symbols are straightforward like they are, but massive move to the upside here for a stock that really hadn't had a lot going well for it recently. No, and I mean, considering the fact that shares are up, I mean, 30% and it's still at $8. I'm not discounting the move to the upside, but 30% it's all relative, obviously, given the price. But here now to tell us more on their second quarter report that I'd like to welcome in Renita Young, Senior Markets Correspondent for the network. So, Renita, walk us through what we're seeing, what's leading to this massive move to the upside. Because as we know in retail, it takes a lot to see a nice earnings move hold here. It does, and I'm glad that you injected a little sobriety in there. Even though it's a massive move, it is still trading under $9 a share. However, the company posted better than expected results for the latest quarterly earnings where we saw losses come in narrower than expected and the company beat revenue expectations, gave strong guidance going forward for the third and fourth quarters. And it was all a testament to the company's turnaround plans showing that they're working. Revenue was $1.14 billion above expectations and and adjusted losses were at $3.24 a share, far better than the expectation for a loss of $4.15 a share. But comp sales decreased by nearly 15% year over year. However, inventories were down 15% year over year at the end of the quarter to $983 million. Now that was driven by the lower in transit inventory and then on hand units, also the drop in the average cost of a union. Gross margins expanded during the quarter and the company said that it significantly strengthened its balance sheet by closing the 294 million dollar sale and lease back deal on august 25th that included the company's distribution center in california and then 26 of its own store locations that it now is leasing back the proceeds however were not included in the company's quarter end liquidity statement of about 258 million dollars but the company the company did expect or post the expectations for pretty strong earnings moving forward into the third and fourth quarters. Yeah, this seems to be a story of better than expected, but still struggling quite uh, significantly and maybe in a little bit of a short squeeze situation here. I'm seeing about 23 percent uh, short interest on this one. But any final thoughts here on Big Lots, uh, Renita, before we say goodbye? Watch this closely because much like Five Below, dollar store chains, this stock is expected to do well in a downturn. But we've been seeing that line of delineation between those who actually do well and those that were expected but fail short of the expectation. Yeah, and Renita, I think that's a really good point. And of course, we do still have some of these bargain or discount retailers reporting this week. I believe Dollar General and its Ollie's Bargain Outlet are reporting still on Thursday. So we still have retailers to keep on our radar and at least based on this move today, perhaps seeing some further upside in some of these names that have seen somewhat of a lackluster year. We appreciate all the breakdown, though, on Big Lots with a 30% move higher. Renita Young's New Markets correspondent here for the network.